Queen sends heartwarming message to British military for Armed Forces Day. The Queen has thanked the British military at home and overseas to celebrate Armed Forces Day on Saturday. As the Commander-in-Chief of the British Armed Forces, Her Majesty honoured both the service of men and women in the military but also the veterans. Windsor Castle released a letter from Queen Elizabeth II who expressed her gratitude to those serving in the forces. In the letter, Her Majesty wrote, The Duke of Edinburgh and I join many around the United Kingdom in celebrating Armed Forces Day, and the efforts of our military both at home and overseas. Today provides an opportunity for thanks, and a recognition of the dedication and risks faced by those serving our nation. Armed Forces Day is an annual event which commemorates the service of men and women in the British Armed Forces. The Queen continued, We also have cause to thank veterans, who continue to contribute to our way of life, long after they leave the armed forces. Having had members of my family serve in each of the armed services, I know only too well of the pride service personnel take in their duty. As your Commander-in-Chief, I send my warmest best wishes to you all your families, and the entire armed forces community. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the commemorations will mainly take place virtually for the first time in history. Military bands will be performing on the armed forces Facebook and Twitter pages. On Saturday, the public will be able to see the Red Arrows fly over Scarborough, the British Army's Catterick garrison, and RAF leaming in North Yorkshire. The Duke of Edinburgh severed in the British Royal Navy from 1939, at age 18, until July 1951. Prince Philip was awarded several titles during his time in the Royal Navy. He was appointed Admiral of the Sea Cadet Corps, Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Cadet Force and Air Commodore-in-Chief of the Air Training Corps. He was also promoted to Admiral of the Fleet and appointed Field Marshal and Marshal of the Royal Air Force. Prince Philip is also colonel of a number of British and overseas regiments. When the Queen was Princess Elizabeth, she served in the Auxiliary Territorial Service during the Second World War. Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh's four children and their grandchildren have all undertaken military training. Earlier this month, a small ceremony took place to mark the Queen's official birthday at Windsor Castle. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh have been staying at their palace in Berkshire. For the Queen's birthday celebrations, Her Majesty watched a procession from the castle's quadrangle. The Queen's 94th birthday celebrations were marked in accordance to social distancing guidelines. Her Majesty was entertained by a band of the household division. The ceremony was concluded with a royal salute. From the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards. 